Now, from the area's leader in live local news, this is WYLN News, the area's number one source of live local news and information in Luzerne, Schuylkill, Carbon, and Columbia counties. WYLN News starts now. Good evening and thank you for joining us on WYLN News. I'm Paula Degnan. Once again, we lead with the weather and today more rain and more flash flooding. WYLN's Julia Wiegan took a ride throughout the area today and brought back some spots where the water was flowing. In Sugarloaf Township, the Nescapec Creek moving quickly and it kept moving right on down further into Cunningham. As you can see, the water backed up there and it's barely all making its way through the culvert. And as the rains continue to fall in downpours back in the city of Hazleton, it may not have been flooding, but ponding that a lot of drivers were concerned about. And that is a reminder, slow down. Some vehicles did hydroplane in different areas today. And after another day of heavy rain, parts of Schuylkill County continue to be underwater. The communities of Pine Grove, Tremont, Pine Grove Township, Tremont Township, Washington Township, Fraley and Porter Townships, all dealing with flooded roads, basements and damage. The National Weather Service forecasting more rain through Wednesday. The flash flood watch remains in effect until 8 o'clock Wednesday evening. A state incident management team is working with local and county officials during this heavy rain incident. Fire crews from throughout Schuylkill County, as well as some from Berks County, have also been out assisting residents and businesses throughout the area. The Schuylkill County Emergency Operations Center will remain open throughout the day today. The heavy rain causing one Northumberland County borough to go into a state of emergency. Mount Carmel's mayor said he placed the borough into that state because of flooded roadways and flooded basements. One of the hardest hit areas being 4th and Beach Street where flooding did damage to the road and sidewalks there. The borough's fire department has been assisting residents since the rain started with flooded basements. This afternoon, Hazleton Fire and Police, along with APTS EMS, were called to 9th Street for a person that was hit by a car. When WILN arrived on the scene, crews assisted the person into the ambulance. The accident happened in the area of Dr. Shoemaker's office. No word if the person that was coming out of that office building when it happened. Hazleton Police are investigating this afternoon's accident in Hazleton. As we reported to you last night on WYLN News, a dog was rescued from the roof of a house on South Church Street. And that story is now getting a lot of attention on social media. Today, Hazleton Police Chief Jerry Spiziali released a statement on the police department's Facebook page. It says in part that the police department was called to the home on a report of a missing or stolen dog. When they arrived on location, police searched the area and found the dog had found its way to the roof of the home. That's when the fire department was called in to get the dog down. The dog was rescued and taken to an area animal hospital where the owners signed for treatment. The chief went on to say HPD and the city of Hazleton take animal and child abuse seriously and will never stand for any type of such abuse. The chief also said a picture of the dog changed to the fence that's been making the rounds on social media is believed to be from 2015 and police are looking into that matter. Vandals targeted the East End playground in Hazleton that was just renovated last year using more than $150,000 in federal and state funds. The City Streets Department crews plan to either remove or paint over the obscene message that was sprayed on a sliding board at the playground. The City Streets Department crews will use solvent in an attempt to remove the graffiti but must first wait for the weather to clear up before any action can be taken. If anyone has any information on who may have done the damage, you're being asked to call Hazleton City Police or submit a tip online at hazeltonpolice.com. 
28 year old Timothy Jones has been arrested for breaking into vehicles at the Lehigh Gorge State Park by smashing their windows to steal hundreds of dollars worth of items. Jones had stolen several credit cards and then proceeded to make purchases at a Hazel Township Walmart. Security footage from the store showed Jones and an unidentified man making four charges of $200 each at the Hazel Township Walmart, but was denied when trying to make an $800 purchase. State police eventually caught up with Jones and charged him with four felony counts of theft and three misdemeanor crimes, along with owing more than $5,000 restitution for unrecovered items. A 46 year old Luzerne County woman was vacationing in Ocean City, Maryland, when a sudden gust of wind caused a beach umbrella to impale her in the chest. Firefighters were able to cut off the wooden pole, but could not remove it entirely from her chest. The woman was flown to a nearby hospital where doctors there removed the rest of the pole. The injury, non-life threatening. The woman who is from the Kingston area was just grateful that it wasn't more serious. Coming up on WILN News, Bill Cosby is back in the news, plus the latest stats of drugs off the streets. But first, let's take a look at our seven day forecast. Again, we have that flash flood watch in effect until Wednesday night. Already saturated ground can cause ponding in normally poor drainage areas and overflow of creeks or streams. The low overnight tonight, 68, and look at that. More scattered showers and thunderstorms. And Saturday, we get a break. We'll be right back. Pocono Raceway is summertime, where the whole crew's invited, where fans become friends, where good times roll, and the racing is always a little tricky. Bring your friends, bring your family, just bring it, Pocono style. Appliances are right over there, and this is part of our furniture department. Okay, but I'm looking for a mattress. Well, you've come to the right place. Grand Central is Northeast Pennsylvania's number one Sealy mattress dealer. We have Sealy mattress sets from only $199 and Stearns and Foster Queen sets from only $45 per month. We also have interest refinancing up to 60 months. And remember, delivery and takeaway are absolutely free. So we don't have to do anything? Not if you buy your Sealy mattress at Grand Central. It looks like I did find the right place to buy a Sealy mattress. Grand Central in Hazleton. The right all Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Pennsylvania's Sexual Offenders Assessment Board recommending that Bill Cosby be classified as a sexually violent predator. State law has required Cosby to register as a sex offender after he was convicted back in April on sexual assault charges for the assault against Andrea Constand in 2004. Cosby is scheduled for sentencing September 24th. More mosquitoes testing positive for the West Nile virus in Schuylkill Haven and Pottsville. According to the Center for Disease Control, symptoms of the virus can show 3 to 14 days after being bitten. The virus can cause flu-like symptoms and can result in inflammation of the brain. So far in the county, the virus has been detected in Pottsville, Schuylkill Haven, Ringtown, Cresona, and West Mahanoy and Mahanoy Townships. Residents can do their part by eliminating standing water and removing garbage. Residents that do have questions can contact the Schuylkill Conservation District at 570-622-3742. Jeffrey Hudock of Clark Summit is suing the state police for illegally detaining him after wrongly suspecting he was involved in the September 12, 
2014 sniper attacks outside the Blooming Grove State Police Barracks that killed one officer and left another with serious injuries. Hudak believes authorities intentionally failed to preserve a video and written notes that would support his claims in the lawsuit. Earlier this year, a U.S. District Judge ruled that police did not have probable cause to take Hudak into custody. The case scheduled for trial on August 27th. State police announcing that over $7 million of prohibited drugs were, were seized from the streets through the second quarter of 2018. State police have taken more than 22 pounds of heroin and 21 pounds of fentanyl off the streets. Fentanyl has become very common, and when taken, it can cause a severe or potentially deadly reaction. State police will continue their push to take narcotics such as crack cocaine, heroin and fentanyl off the streets. United States Representative Matt Cartwright introducing legislation that is aimed at increasing organ donations. Currently, there are 115,000 people on the organ transplant list waiting and nearly 20 people die each day waiting for an organ. The Organ Donor Clarification Act removes existing barriers that donors would face under the current law and would also allow for a pilot program to test to see the effectiveness of non-cash incentives, hoping to have an increase in organ donations. Coming up on Ridgewood's News Choice, the Fuller House Project on Community and You. Plus yesterday, we told you about a Ritz Cracker recall. Well, today, it's goldfish crackers. And how about this? That Mega Millions jackpot is now over the half billion. That's right, with a B dollar mark for tonight's drawing. Good luck. But first, let's take a look at today's winning midday lottery numbers. If you played, again, good luck and stay with us. Serve the Lord, singing for joy, the CD by the Sisters of Holy Annunciation Monastery can be yours for just $13, which includes shipping and tax. Mail a check to Holy Annunciation Monastery, 430 West County Road in Sugarloaf, Pennsylvania, or call 570-788-1205. This 10-song CD can be yours for just $13. SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric Mr. Slim ductless heating and cooling system. Mr. Slim systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money-saving technology can save you 25 to 50% on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialist, call SJ Kowalski at 570-455-2600. Join us this week on Let's Talk Chiropractic. You're going to meet a 82 years young Bill, learn about his adventures and how a wonderful positive attitude and good chiropractic care keeps him going along his journey. His story and the reason why we have the popcorn on the table are coming up this week. Join us. And today I have two guests with me, and we're talking about a great event that will be coming up the first weekend of August, all thanks to the Fuller Center for Housing right here in the greater Hazleton area. And first we're going to start with Chris Rackey from uh, the Victory Bible Church. And Chris, you reached out and said we have this amazing event going on where the church is partnering with the Fuller Center uh, to bring in their Fuller, uh, Fuller House Bike Adventure Group which there's 18 of them who are coming to stay at your church. Yes, we're very excited to be able to partner with Fuller Housing, which is a great opportunity in the Hazleton area for low-income 
families mm -hmm. to get interest-free homes. And so Victory Bible Church will be hosting 18 bikers who will be coming from Lancaster on August 3rd. Mm -hmm. They will be staying at the church, and I believe they'll be staying in sleeping bags, which <laughs> they must be a lot younger than me because <laughs> I couldn't do the sleeping bags. But we're very grateful to have them. It's a tremendous opportunity. We will be, as a church, providing them with all the meals. And then a Victory Bible Church on August 5th, the Sunday after our 10 a.m. service, we will be having a community picnic and that is for anyone in the greater Hazleton area we invite you to come down to Victory Bible Church we are um, in June Dale which is one mile down the road from Dr. Haber's office that's our familiar uh, <laughs> land landmark and come on down uh, enjoy some good food and learn more about Fuller Housing because again it is a tremendous opportunity for the people in this Hazleton area and uh, and the surrounding areas to get your own home. So uh, we invite you to come down, enjoy our service, enjoy meeting the guys from Fuller. And you know, Chris, this, you've talked about such a great event. And Tony, you're the, the president of the local chapter uh, okay. for Fuller. So exactly what is Fuller and, and what does the organization do? Okay. Fuller is first and foremost a Christian housing ministry. Mm -hmm. uh, our mission being to provide affordable housing for low-income families. Mm -hmm. Uh, we do this, there's a variety of selections, but we're based on income of the family, their need for housing, and their willingness to put some sweat equity into mm -hmm. the home. It's the three basics. And you said to me, uh, this is part of Habitat for Humanity, where this was the family who founded it. Okay. We're not part of Habitat okay. anymore. <laughs> we used to be Habitat right. locally but we disaffiliated with them uh -huh. and we took up with Fuller. And the Fuller family originally founded mm -hmm. Habitat back in 1976. Okay. So, so a lot of people are, are in this area are familiar with the work you have done and helped lead the, the group with. Yes. And this will all be going on, um, as Chris said, August 3rd, 4th, and 5th. And these uh, men and women are coming here to help at a home here in Hazleton. Uh, to get it ready for a family to, to move into. That's correct. Uh, the house is located at 108 South Vine Street. It's a two bedroom half double. Uh, the fellows are gonna be working on some siding, replace a window or two, install a steel garage door, maybe some lawn work. Depends on their abilities and how much time mm -hmm. they have. There's a variety of factors. The weather will factor. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And I know uh, with them coming, but you guys are always looking for people to help out in projects like this as well, right? Yes, uh, we're always looking for especially semi-skilled volunteers. Uh, we do a lot of drywalling, painting. What we're doing is just about every house, we're stripping them down to the studs, rewiring them, new plumbing, new kitchen, new bathroom. Mm -hmm. um, after you paint it up, install wall-to-wall -wall rug throughout the house, and they're very nice houses yes. when they're done. They should have another life of 50 or 60 more years in them. Uh, fortunately, we've been getting houses donated since uh, the early 90s. We only bought the very first house we worked on, and the every other one was donated to us. Wow. So if there's some people out there saying, gee, I have this house that it cost too much mm -hmm. for me to work on, what can I do with it? Donate it to Fuller, we're 501c3. Uh, your de donation will be tax deductible. And I think that's a pretty good gift to yeah. give someone. Yeah. You know, if you want a legacy, that's <laughs> that's sort of it. You know, you're given for the next 50 years. Wow, so uh, there's a, a lot with that. And you can learn more, of course, uh, through the church on uh, August 5th after this 10 o'clock service with the picnic where we'll be talking about Fuller and how to be part of it. Uh, and Victory Bible Church, Chris, you guys are involved in so many projects yes. uh, throughout the area. Yes. This just another one. So again, if somebody wants to come out on the 5th, um, what will they be hearing about? Uh, well, they will be hearing uh, our service again is at 10 o'clock. Our pastor, Corey Adams, will be there and uh, he will be talking about uh, Fuller and then afterward, um, 
we have Joel from the Fuller Housing Bikers, and they will he will be telling people all about what Fuller is and how to go about uh, getting involved if you want to volunteer, which they always need volunteers, or if you're interested in getting one of these homes. Um, so we're inviting you to come out, enjoy the food, enjoy the fellowship, um, and learn about Fuller Housing. We're very excited to be able to, to host them. All right, well again, that will be on August 5th at the Victor Bible, Victory Bible Church, easy for me to say, <laughs> on Main Street in Joondale after the 10 o'clock service there with them. Chris and Tony, thank you so much for joining us and thank the best of luck me. with everything. Hopefully nice, warm weather yes. uh, the first weekend of August yes. with this. Yes. Thanks for joining us here on Community and you everyone. We'll see you next time here on WYLA. It's okay that everybody ignores me when I drive. It's fine, because I get a safe driving bonus check every six months I'm accident free. Because I don't use my cell phone when I'm driving, even though my family does and leaves me all alone. Here's something else. I don't share it with mom. Right, mom? I have a brand new putter you don't even know about. It's awesome. Safe driving bonus checks only from Allstate. Switching to Allstate is worth it. Visit your local Allstate agent, the McNeilis Agency in Hazleton at 1092 North Church Street, or in hometown in the hometown village square. Chura's Auto Sales has been serving the area with quality vehicles since 1954. Chura's Auto Sales is known as your friendly dealer and now in their fourth generation and voted the best used car dealer by the readers of Standard Speaker Choice Awards. John Chura would like to thank everyone that voted for his business. When you need a quality pre-owned vehicle, choose from a large selection at Chura's 570-454-7229. I'm Isabella Falvello. Join me for a wonderful new cooking series, Chow Bella, featured here on WYLN TV 35. When you see news happening in your neighborhood, call WYLN News at 570-459-1869 or email us at news at WYLNTV.com or send us a message on social media through Facebook. WYLN, we're your local network. Pepperidge Farm is voluntarily recalling four varieties of goldfish crackers because of fears they could potentially have salmonella. The company on Monday took the action after one of its ingredient suppliers notified that the whey powder used in a seasoning may be contaminated. The products were distributed in the United States. No illnesses have been reported. The goldfish recall covers flavor blasted extra cheddar, flavor blasted sour cream and onion, goldfish baked with whole grain extra cheddar, and goldfish mix extra cheddar and pretzel. The company has posted a chart with the product codes on its website. The products can be returned to place of purchase for a refund. Consumers can, can call customer service at 800-679-1791. The next meeting of Surviving Together will be held August 2nd, 6 p.m. at the Perkins Family Restaurant on Route 93. This meeting will feature Geisinger's My Code team who will discuss their genomic sequencing project. My Code is a Geisinger Precision Health project seeking new ways to improve the diagnosis, prevention, and management of disease. Those who are fighting or have beaten cancer are encouraged to join the group and spend time with others who have struggled with similar issues. Those interested in attending should call 570-454-4598. And if you'd like more information, you can visit www.cancer.org. Now stay with us. A look at today's weather is next here on WYLN News. Physical Therapy and Balance Centers. It's spelled different because we are different. Physical is unlike any therapy center you've been to before. If you're tired of living in pain, if you want to move better, overcome an injury or balance disorder, or you just want to improve your strength and conditioning, our highly skilled team of medical experts will help you get back to living the life you enjoy. New mentality, new body, new life. Get physical. Attention WYLN viewers, WYLN TV can now be seen on the Hazleton Service Electric Cablevision HD tier. 
channel 507 and over the air at 35.1. WYLN, we're your local network. Hi, I'm Julia Wiegand, the newest news reporter for WYLN News. I'm so proud to be part of your number one local news team. WYLN News, when local news happens, you can count on WYLN News to be there. Whether it's in Berwick, Tamaqua, or right here in Hazleton. We work hard to be your number one local news station and will continue to work hard to stay number one. For over 25 years, Whitetail Preserve Shooting Range, 118 Boulevard Road, Bloomsburg, has provided professionally designed skeet, trap, and sporting clay fields. All stations are handicapped accessible with resident NRA certified shooting instructors on site. There are packages available to fit anyone's budget, restaurant and catering on site. Our facility is also available for weddings, business meetings, bachelor and private parties. Call 570-384-2314. WYLN CA 35's children's programming is designed with the specific purpose of serving the educational and informational needs of children. In compliance with FCC guidelines, a copy of the children's programming report is on file for public inspection at WYLN 1057 East 10th Street in Hazleton, Pennsylvania during normal business hours. To view the report online, visit FCC.org.